some of you guys ask me, say, Cycle Cruiser, why don't you get some carbon fiber wheels? Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruisers all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. I'll tell you guys that carbon fiber wheels look really sick. They're very lightweight. It sheds some nice weight off of your bike. For my bike, a BST carbon fiber front wheel weighs 6 pounds, 2.4 ounces, and the rear wheel, 10 pounds, 8.8 .8 ounces. Compared to my stock front wheel at 9 pounds, 5 ounces, and my rear wheel at 12 pounds, 8 ounces. So the carbon fiber wheels are 5.11 pounds lighter than my stock wheels for an additional $3,000. And it can even improve the turn and feel on your bike for better cornering and just be better handling. But I'll tell you guys that you have to be cautious though because if you, you can't just go, you gotta be careful on just slapping some, uh, some carbon fiber wheels on your bike because you may have to adjust your suspension to accommodate the wheels. But uh, the wheels, the carbon fiber wheels are very, very expensive, as you know. I mean, they can run anywhere from like, I don't know, like two, two to $4,000 for a set. Super expensive. For me, it's just, it's kind of like a waste of money for me. I'm not a racer, you know, and from my understanding, I think uh, uh, races, perfect, like uh, sanctioned races, they don't even allow carbon fiber wheels. So honestly, they're really just for recreational use, from my understanding. But I don't really see the need to spend, you know, cheap as I am, to drop two to four thousand dollars for a set. <laughs> set of wheels just to say I got some carbon fiber wheels and my bike's a little bit lighter because as you see where I'm at here in Ohio you know I'm, I'm doing mostly straight roads out here guys we don't have the awesome canyon twisties like California has and North Carolina and the mountains and Colorado and all those other cool areas that has really sick twisties and even then even if I did live in an area that had sick twisties is it really going to improve the informant and my performance that much that it's going to warrant me spending an extra two to four thousand dollars for a set of carbon fiber wheels? <laughs> Not. I don't know. That's for just people, in my opinion, that just want to blow money on, you know, mods for their bike. And I'm not saying, you know, to each his own, you know, whatever you, you know, as long as it makes you happy, that's all that matters. But it's not a mod that I would waste my money on, to be honest with you. And, uh, I don't know, you're probably better off just maybe getting, maybe adding, uh, getting your, your rims powder coated or something if you want to change. Uh... That's why I added some, I had some uh, Repsol wheels, which I don't, really the only reason I bought an extra set of wheels, uh, the Repsol wheels, is because I wanted to, I want to be, hit the track and have an extra set of wheels where I can have a backup set of, of wheels in case I had a tire, uh, you know, nail in the tire or something. It's nice to have a backup set of wheels, but no man, no way in hell I'm spinning. I could find a lot of other things to spend four, two, two to four thousand dollars on than a set of wheels to look at, just sit in my garage and look at them and say how cool they are. <laughs> and post pictures up on Instagram, uh, bling bling. That's about all it'd be worth to me, to be honest with you. They're cool though, it's cool. But it's not gonna change performance that it's, uh, that it's really going to do me any any bit any benefit at all. I'm pretty much done modding my bikes here. I'm just waiting to get the next bike. Uh, the reason why I'm uh, holding off, as I told you guys, I'm I'm ready set to get a bike now. But 
I really want to see what this 2018 Yamaha FZ09 SP version, if that's going to materialize. And also, if maybe if Yamaha is going to add some new color schemes. Because honestly, I really don't want another white bike. I would get the white. I, I think the white looks cool on that bike. But honestly, having three white bikes is kind of like overkill. <laughs> So I'm hoping they, they add an all black or they add the all blue with the blue wheels. I'd get one of those. But I'm really hoping that they upgrade that suspension like they said they're going to do for the SP version and add some other upgrades to the bike. And I'll probably get that bike unless there's some other cool bike that comes out in the meantime. But I'm in no rush. I got two sick bikes. Look at that. Yeah, power on my CDI 1000 double R, baby. Also, I got a new mod that I'm going to be adding to this bike, by the way. That's going to add 7 horsepower for cheap, for an ec only an extra $60. And I'll do a video on that and a review on that and let you know, hey, if it feels any different. But I appreciate all you guys. For those of you that, that want to get my gear that I rock, my camo pants, you know, my motorcycle pants, my boots, my gloves, my helmets, my camera gear, I include links in the description and comment section of this video. Or go to my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab, My Gear, and that's links to everything. If you want to see more of my videos, uh, click on the menu tab my videos at my website and that's a bunch of playlists all of my videos are categorized into those playlists and hopefully you can find something that will inform you entertain you hey uh, hit thumbs up if you like this video share this video with your friends I appreciate all you guys and subscribe to my all the world motorcycle channel until next time I'll catch you guys later Deuces. Hey, don't forget to check out my other YouTube channel that features the original bug out moto van that is designed and built by yours truly so that I can live in my van with my motorcycle. So hey, check me out at youtube.com forward slash bug out moto. Subscribe today.